Television yako karibu sana kwa kipindi hiki cha neno nitakuweka uhuru kutoka hapa jiji la Nairobi makutano ya barabara ya uhuru hayo na alslasi ukiamini ule ujumbe ambao bwana anakwenda kunena itasaliwa ndani yako na utaona mambo ambao haujawahi kuona hebu tuende moja kwa moja katika kipindi alafu pale mwisho nikimaliza nitakuja kuongea na wewe Roho ni nini? Roho mwili wa roho ni mwili ambao unatembea iwe kwa mapepo ama kwa malaika. Waebrania moja mstari wa na nne inasema hivi, naye malaika ni nini? Akasema malaika ni roho ambaye anatumikia Mungu kuwapatia nguvu wale ambao wanaokoka. Nazo mapepo ni nini? Mapepo nazo ni mapepo si shetani. Mapepo ni nguvu za giza kama vile kinyesi ikimwagwa mahali kutabaki kukinuka. Kinyesi kimeondolewa lakini kuna nuka kwa sababu that is the power of darkness. Na hiyo ndio shetani anafanyaga. Anakuja kwa mtu akishaingia kwako anakuacha ukinuka kinyesi. That's why unakuwa rejected by people and also by the by God. Only if you touch the blood of Jesus Christ. Ile munyungo, ile arufu mbaya inaondoka. Tafsiri ya watu kuokolewa ni nini? Tafsiri ya watu kuokolewa, look at this now. Angalia mtu huyu vile anafanya. Na baadaye unaona vile ambavyo ame kili mwenyewe. Nasema Bwana Yesu. Bwana Yesu. Ninakupenda. Nakupenda. Mimi ni mwenye dhambi. Mimi mwenye dhambi. Nisamehe. Nisamehe. Na uniweke uhuru. Na uweke uhuru. Leo. Leo. Huyu msichana ambaye nataka nikuoneshe, tazama kwanza. Ni mwondo kula nyama. Usiku utuko kirale kiroto. Eh kirale kiroto. Warota. Utuko kirale kiroto nda roti. Yani a kuigire to kwina kwina mbwa we ya roje kwina suburi ya mugwanja saidi kwina kirende kingi muno ni kinyonti emai ni gikwigwe kunywa roje eh ende gutina mtu aguta roje mbwa woni yere ya kira suburi ene anenkeri ya mtu eh anto mai kulira anto kabanyonti baluga baleti ya roje baleti ya roje baleti ya roje a ndongi ndio yani ndoni na ndona kandi ke omtune sijui sijui ma ma kwitia roje no tike manengera niki ntina ndadi ndidi kujukia njagi ntaroje suburia ne ndadi ko ikikubekira nkegwa ntina inya nkegwa han kabera ji ji yani jipeni shuguli oh utukole undambiria ko sumbura ni kiroto ke mwanka ngo kiraro kire ndauria leu ndidi kanisa iko Nairobi leu ndaka anakuletea nyama ana niletea nyama fly ana niambia dadangu ana chakula cha kwanga na kula kwa niko uko ni kuzuri sana na kukujia twende alafu namwambiaje sasa kwa sababu nilikuwa napenda huyo kakaangu nikienda kuchukua nikienda kuchukua na angalia hapo chini naona moto hiyo bakuri inaanguka inaanguka kwa maji unaona alimeniuliza kweli inawezekana alikuwa anaota ndugu yake anamuita wanakwenda kukula na amekaa miaka miezi sita bila kwenda kanisani akaenda kanisani amekuja kuniambia sikiza tu nilikuwa naota na doti ya dada ya kaka yangu ambaye alikuwa amefariki nilikuja hapa nikaombewa na hiyo na nikapona sasa amesema nini amesema 
Yeye haoti tena hizo shida zimeisha. Mtazamaji, ulimwengu wa mwili na wa roho zinahusikana wapi? Zinahusikana kama hii picha. Ukiangalia hivi na uangalie hivi utaona simba wawili lakini ni mmoja. Hivyo ndivyo ilivyo katika mtu wa rohoni. Mtu ana mtu mwingine ndani ingawa kuonekana kwake ni mtu huyu wa juu lakini ndani kuna mtu kama mimi ambaye mtu huyo ndiye upokea unabii. Ndiye upokea neno. Ndiye upokea baraka. Ndiye upokea agizo ili akatawale mkono. Akiibiwa na shetani look at this now. Unaona vile anafanya? Sikiza baada ya kutolewa hiyo. Nasikia nini? Sio msito sana vile ilikuwa. Imeenda na mkono. Utakula ugali na mkono gani sasa? Unakaa wapi? Kadiado. Wamenifanyia operation mara tatu, ugonjwa ipatikani. Unaona sasa? Akisha huyo mtu wa ndani akisha badilishwa uwekwe mwingine utabehave kama wa huko wale wote walimsikiliza vilipo katika matenda mitume nane nne walijazwa na roho na waliokuwa wamepoza hiyo vitu vikaanza kutoka kwa sababu neno la Mungu ni upanga unaokata kuwili hauwezi ukahubiri kama ukiwa na connection na Yesu na ukose kuvuna hauwezi Yesu akamwambia Simoni Petero enda kule barini tupa ndoano yako toa samaki fungua kinywa chake utakuta ana dinari iliyo na uwezo wa kulipa deni yako na deni ya kanisa listen kama haujatumwa you struggle lakini kama umetumwa utakuta barabara utakuta mikate imewekwa Ufalme wa Mungu utadinganishwa na umaskini au na ugonjwa utalinganishwa na nini na kushindwa ama na kushinda is a question my brother akamwambia Paulo toka hapo hiyo watu wachana nao ni Kiislamu akaenda mahali pengine akaambua usitoke hapa hubiri mpaka nitakulinda we 2014 wajana na kelele my 2014 2015 20 This is what I'm doing now. From here. This is what I'm doing now. From here to here. I'm believing God for this miracle. That's why I'm asking you Kenyans. Even if you don't have something to give me. Just mention. Mungu akubariki sana. Genesis 3 number 15. Na first John 3 number 8. Genesis I will make you and the woman hate each other her offspring and yours will always be enemies her offspring will crush your head and you will bite her offspring's heel and he said to the woman I will increase your trouble in pregnancy So ma first John waraka wa Yohana wa kwanza Tatu na mstari wa nane. First John chapter 3 and verse 8 Whoever continues to sin belongs to the devil because the devil has sinned from the very beginning. The son of God appeared for this very reason to destroy what the devil has done. Thank you. Waraka wa Yohana 5 na mstari wa 4. Hiyo hiyo hapo 5 na mstari wa 4. First John 5 and number 4 Because every child of God is able to defeat the world and we win the victory over the world by the means of our faith. Thank you. Maandiko inasema ni Mungu amesema wale mnanisikiliza sema ninachukia shetani kuanzia leo. Shemeni nachukia shetani. Shema kwa kabila yako nashukia shetani. Wewe ni pepo, wewe ni shetani na kuchukia na ninakukemea. Nimeweka uadui katikati ya watoto. 
wa huyu mwanamke na uadui katika watoto wa shetani furaha yangu ni kwamba Mungu akasema you crush the devil utakanyaga kichwa chake crush the head crush the head kanyaga kichwa oh! Sema nimeamka Sema kwa kabila yako nimeamka Kazi yetu ni kukanyaga kichwa cha shetani asiendelee tena na kutoka leo shetani na kukanyaga na Ambia jirani yako I'm a child of God Son of the living Son of God was born to destroy all that the devil has done na leo kazi ya shetani aliyofanya ndani yako tunaiharibu katika jina la Yesu shemeni ye our business is to destroy all that the devil has done in our nation in our community wherever we find the devil we are going to crush his head wherever we find the devil we are going to destroy all that si lazima iwe kwako si lazima iwe kwa ndugu yako popote ukimuona kichwa yake popote ukimuona kazi yake unayaribu shemeni ye Devil is a liar. Devil is a liar. Yesu alimweka chini, tunakuja kumweka chini. Asijiinue juu yako, tunamweka chini leo. Leo anakwenda chini chini chini, tunaenda juu, anaenda chini, tunaenda juu, anaenda chini. Shema ye! Shema ye! Pigia Yesu makofi ya vigere Ninaona niko na kikosi kizima kama kile cha KDF tunaenda kwa anga kuharibu kazi ya shetani katika nchi yote ambapo tukimpata in the name of Jesus Shabana Shaya Somebody say I'm ready. Sema kutoka leo nimeamka. Sema kwa kabila yako nimeamka. Maandiko inasema Yesu ni mwana wa Mungu na alikuja kuharibu kazi za shetani. Na mimi nasema mchana wa leo chochote ambapo shetani ametengeneza, amevanya kwa anga yako, kwa nyumba yako na kiharibu leo katika jina la Yesu. Hello! Uchavu aliokupaka nimekuondolea uchavu aliokupaka nimekuondolea lana alioweka nimekuondolea katika jina la Yesu Madiko inasema every child of god kila mwana wa Mungu ana uwezo wa kushinda dunia i'm just coming to tell you you have the power you have a gift you have a call from the lord to win to win the battle shema ya every child of god has the power to conquer the world devil is a liar Waganga ni waongo, shetani ni muongo. Maandiko inasema, you have the power to conquer the world. You have the power. Una uwezo wa kushinda magonjwa, wa kushinda umaskini, wa kushinda masengejo, wa kushinda. Shema ni mimi nimshindi. Bwana atageuza matusi yao itakuwa baraka. Bwana atageuza. Hello. Watapigana na wewe 
na watakuweza Shida ya shetani ni kukunana mabaya Shida ya shetani ni kukupaka matope na Jehova anakuinua 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 Halo Shaba ni au kanka Chama I am a wewe unafikiri shetani atakwambia mimi ni mzuri unafikiri shetani atakubali x-ray zake nimeziharibu alafu akwambia nganga ni mzuri yesu anasema endelea kuharibu kazi ya shetani endelea kuniinua mwanangu niinue shamba latisha kazi ya ibilisi Oh my god. Na kwambia kwamba usisikilize vile shetani anasema. Sikiliza vile Yesu. Yesu. Piga piga. sasa wakati mwingi nikuwa nyumbani nasikia sina raha hata kidogo nasikia hata sina haja na maisha e, na wakati mwingi hata nikienda nikifanya kazi zile pesa zinakuwa hata zinisaidia hata kidogo na usiku naota nini usiku kwa mara nyingi ile ndoto naonanga ni naota na nyama kama ya matumbo hivi amewekwa roho ya kusumbuka angalia picha yake ya kwanza na ya pili sema bwana Yesu mimi ninakupenda. Mimi nakupenda. Nastaki shetani. Nastaki shetani. Kuanzia leo. Kuanzia leo. Nataka Yesu. Nataka Yesu. Mwana wa Mungu. Yesu mwana wa Mungu. Yesu. Yesu. Niweke uhuru. Niweke uhuru. Father in the name of Jesus Christ. I surround this man with the blood of the Lord Jesus and the mighty power of the Holy Spirit. I declare you innocent and I set you free. Pokea maisha mapya. Ulikuja hapa lini? Nilikuja Thursday last week about one alafu tena nikakuja last ya uh, last week now una, uko namna gani tangu ulipoombewa e, tangu nilipoombewa hata hiyo siku yenyewe niliona baraka nyingi sana kwa sababu sikuja na simu yangu so sistangu ne akapigiwa simu na one of my bosses alikuwa ameniajiri sasa nilikuwa nimetoka kazi huko akapiga simu akasema nataka nirudi kazi huko na mimi sikuwa nime communicate na yeye kwanza so the same same day huyu mtu amesema alipotoka hapa akapigiwa simu akaambiwa rudi kazini utalegeshewa chochote ambacho ibilisi ameiba kwa maisha yako na utalegeshewa na faida dago ni nini? Hii shida ya kifafa imenisumbua miaka mingi. Tangu 92 vile nilifanya form 4, hiyo shida ilianza na kunisumbua kwa kitofu. Kifafa? Mm. Inakujaga kama nini? Ina nikisikia kitofu inaanza kuniwasha hiyo jambo ninaamka hivi, inanirusha ninaanguka chini. Umeenda kwa waganga? Waganga nimetembelea lakini wameshindwa. Vile niliitwa kwa Mungu nikaokoka, niliona Mungu ameanza kunisaidia kidogo. 
hiyo shida ikakuwa asubuhi nikiamka ndio inaanza kunisumbua inaanza kulala nikiwa mzima eh? nalala nikiwa mzima lakini asubuhi nikiamka tu hivi inaweza kuenda ku kwa meno inaanguka huko na kuja ninabebwa imekusumbua miaka mingi tangu 92 hiyo shida ndio ilianza epilepsy tetemeka epilepsy epilepsy witchcraft 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 piga nduru na uende witchcraft ona moto ona mwangaza ona mwangaza ona mwangaza tell me the different ndabie wewe hata sasa naendelea kusikia vizuri naendelea na kupona tofauti ni nini tofauti vile nilikuwa nasikia hiyo kitofu nimeanza kuniwasha unaanguka mara ngapi kwa siku hata ninaweza kukaa tu siku moja asubuhi kinisumbua ninakaa tu yesi kwa siku kangi kila saa unakunywa dawa dawa nilikuwa nimekunywa zile nilikuwa nimepewa kinyata lakini hakuna usaidizi wowote nilikuwa sasa unaenda kuoga meno unaanguka hapo ninaanguka tu hapo unaenda cho unaanguka ninaanguka tu sema bwana yesu bwana yesu nakupenda nakupenda simba wa yuda siku wa yuda niokoe niokoe sema simba wa yuda simba wa juda niokoe niokoe leo hii leo hii shetani akiona shetani akiona ndio ajue una nguvu ndio ajue una nguvu sema amen amen i surround this lady with the blood of jesus christ and the mighty power of the holy spirit i speak against epilepsy now i set you free sasa nilikuwa nilikuombea nini thursday eh ilikuwa thursday nieleze tangu thursday sasa tangu Thursday akili yangu na sikia imekuwa sasa inaendelea na kuwa timamu ilikuwa imenisumbua kabisa singeweza kufikiria vizuri by Tuesday nilikuwa nimeamka tu naenda kununua breakfast hiyo jaribu ikajaribu kukunikujia kuniangusha vile naangushanga mbele za watu lakini wenye waliniona waliniambia nilifanya kukaa chini nikafanya kuomba nikisema Mungu nisaidie nisaidie ikaisha nikaamka tu nikaenda kwa nyumba tangu siku hiyo kuisha istangu wakati hiyo haijanishika kutoka 92 mpaka 2013 how many years kabla nimalize ningetaka tu kusema kwamba nashukuru bwana kwa sababu ya wale ambao mmekuwa the army of the lord wale ambao uh, tumekuwa nanyi mwaka huu ambao mmekuwa wapanda shuka the army of the lord na the school of ministry Bwana wabariki sana mwaka huu nitawaandikia kwa SMS zenu na kwa email zenu mipango ile ambayo nataka tuombe wale watu wote ambao ni uh, sponsor ama party na wangu uh, basi simama nami sasa hapa ni pagumu sana si pesa nyingi ni 1.2 billion ni pesa ndogo tu watu wakipatikana wale ambao wenye roho hiyo ya Mungu basi nipigie simu chukua ombi hili anza kuombea mradi huu na vile vile uniombe Mungu unitaje leo nataka unitaje kwa Mungu tu ili Mungu anipate kibari kwa Mungu nipate hizi fedha kule nitapata either ni kupewa either ni kukopeshwa either ni watu watatoa na kabla kutoka kwa muhura wangu nijengee baba nyumba hii ni orofa 14 tutakuwa na mahoteli ndani tutakuwa na conference rooms ndani tutakuwa na na, na, na kanisa ndani tutakuwa na parking huku ndani inagarimu for 1.2 billion gawanya 1.2 billion ni watu wangapi hata kwa elfu moja ni watu wangapi kwa elfu mbili just 12000 how many people very few tukipatikana tu watu milioni moja 1 million walio na hii loan niko nayo tutajenga hii nyumba mtawaita mje muone wakati itakapokuwa ikeanzishwa tutafanya sherehe kubwa sana hapa ya kuja kuonyeshana vile Mungu anafanya kwa hivyo kwa leo uh, sitaki kuongea mengi lakini nataka kusema kwamba mwaka huu naanzisha na hii donation hizi namba nimeweka hapa ni za, ba, ni za cooperative bank you can send your donation to that bank nataka tu watu wakutoa 10% just 12000 10 of 10 of 10 of 10% wakipatikana watu elfu moja tutakuwa tumetoa fungu la 10 la 1.2 ambayo itakuwa ni 120 million tukitoa hiyo tutaanzisha sasa kuchimba mchanga na bwana 
atakwenda kukubariki basi nikutakia mwaka mwema na bwana kubariki nyosha mikono yako tu nikubariki hapo nyumbani wale ambao ni the army of the lord i love you just call this number i'm on to me ujumbe kwa jamainga1 at gmail.com unieleze namba yako ama namna naweza nikawasiliana na wewe natamani kuwajua ili siku moja ni waite tukunywe kikombe ya chai kwa pamoja hapa Nairobi my all partners are the army of the lord i'm willing to call you to call you in the year 2014 just for a cup of tea so give me a number a email address then i'll continue uh, uh, communicating with you just strengthen your hands toward the television uh, strengthen your hands toward the television as i pray for you for the blessing of 2014 father in the name of jesus i now pray that you bless my viewers the army of the lord the school of prayer the ministers of the gospel of jesus christ lord i pray that you release the the anointing the power to break every bondage i speak healing and blessing of the lord in jesus name sema amen is the number one nimeweka hapa kwa sababu ya kipindi hiki mtume 200 300 kila utasikia unaweza kutuma sababu kipindi hiki niko kwa tv sasa miaka 15 so ni gharama kubwa sana lakini nashukuru wale wote huwa mnatuma Mungu awabariki sana. God bless you. Tabtana ni kijayo. Amen. Waambie wawaze kunisengenya. Waambie wale walinikwa pesa. Waambie wawaze kunisengenya. Waambie walinikwa pesa.